hello everyone today we're gonna be making a showcase to all the weapons and i'm gonna be giving you guys some tips and tricks for all of them so yeah if you want to see that stay tuned okay first we have direct shot and here is how to use it basically you just get the ball like this and then you press it and the ball goes like that okay i think it's pretty clear and my first tip for direct shot is okay so finesse shot this move is pretty ass I, I don't know why anybody would use it honestly so yeah let's see what it does it basically shoots like a knuckleball and you don't even have control over the ball so it's pretty pretty shit so don't use it guys okay that's my best tip for <laughs> finesse shot let's go okay so stealthy steps uh, Stealthy is really good guys. It's pretty amazing. It's probably the best epic and also explosive is pretty pretty uh, amazing too. So first uh, thing here it is What it actually does you get a speed boost and iframes you cannot be tackled or anything in the animation, right? You probably know that by now. So yeah the first thing I would uh, tell you so when you start off, let's say you start off as a striker, and many people just immediately use the stealthy. That cannot work if you're not fast. If you're fast, maybe, yes. But if you're not that fast, you need to close the gap a bit, you know, and then use it. Go like this, maybe fake them out, and try to score. That's that's the thing with, stealth, uh, with stealthy. You need to use it wisely you cannot just go and use it for no reason you can also use it to close the gap between people maybe like when um, the opponent has the ball and you need to close the gap maybe uh, they try to shoot and like they're here and you go like this they cannot uh, shoot uh, like you will get the ball most of the time because i don't know why the die frames or something uh, makes getting the ball a lot easier with stealthy steps so yeah that's all about stealthy i think yeah okay now we have explosive acceleration you can use it with or without the ball like stealthy steps so yeah that's um good to know if you didn't know already probably you did but it's all good so you can use uh, explosive to create a lot of space right so if you go from here you're gonna be like here maybe but how i would suggest using it is when maybe you're here right and you maybe try to shoot but you don't you go like this and then you then you score like this i've seen players do this it's pretty op like you you cannot stop this unless you steal the ball before they use uh, the explosive acceleration it's a pretty decent move okay now uh, you can also use it to close in a gap so you go like this and uh, you can grab the ball like that you know it's pretty good so yeah i think that's it for exp explosive okay before the video continues if you guys are finding this video helpful make sure to subscribe thank you very much let's continue on okay um, now we have jumping power jumping power is not that good honestly i don't have the second move uh sorry for that but it's basically like uh nagi's um mid-air trap like you know the the move i'm talking about so it's kind of worse off though so yeah i wouldn't recommend this uh, this weapon but the, um, the the first move you use it like like a normal header but you, you get more jumping power i think i'm not sure you see 
and the ball goes like more lower down so yeah it's pretty it's the the, the first move is okay if you know how to use it though so yeah okay so now we have immense speed uh, and uh, guys immense is actually okay it's not that bad but be careful when using it okay so you need to hold it when you when you use it so you go like this and here you hold it and you can control the ball like that you can go like this and if you want to release you go like you you let go of the uh left click and you can get the ball i suggest using um, immense speed when you already have a little bit of a gap and you just want to run and to create a lot of space and to score also you can use it when a teammate uh, gets the ball maybe they get the ball like right here and you're on the left side and you start running right so you both of both of you are on defense he gets the ball like right there right okay and you start running you wait for the pass okay you just wait for the pass and you're gonna be here much sooner than anybody else he can pass you the ball and it's an easy goal okay so now we have mark smell and this move is pretty decent uh this weapon because you can get a lot out of it if you know how to use it if you can predict uh what people are gonna do so you can get the ball like that and how you basically uh would want to use it is when a player is right here right and you know he has maybe elastic dribbling and he tries to maybe use the um, the rainbow flick right you're gonna go a little bit back and you're gonna wait right like right here and you will most likely get the ball and also you can use it on uh, people who no dribble normally or people who have stealthy steps because most of the time people with stealthy steps they try to like cross you you know and you use the move and you get it it's pretty simple pretty easy okay okay now we have uh, elastic dribbling one of my favorites right now i didn't like it at first but it's actually pretty amazing so first things first uh this is the hyperspeed uh, scissors you can use it you can hold it and you see you can move a little bit and when you release you get the uh, when the arrow where the arrow is there the, that's where you get uh the the space so if you go like back it will go back this move is really good for taking out your opponents so if you're like right here and you use it they will think you will go up up front right but you're gonna go back maybe and use a top bean shot or maybe a pka shot something like that really works wonders and it's also good for uh creating space and this whole uh, weapon is for creating space basically okay this one now it's pretty decent because you can use it after you've made a normal dribble like this and after you uh, use that one i'm gonna show you in a bit okay okay so you go like this right you press some dribbles maybe like this and then you go like this and shoot this will work most of the time if the player actually gets uh, gets to like that but if they're a little bit smarter they won't fall for this usually because it happens to the best of us right so yeah be careful with that this move it has two types you can just click it and you go like this or you have a different type of move i'm gonna i'm gonna show you okay uh here we go so you can either like click or hold when holding you get, go like this and then like that so you can actually uh, change the di direction so if you go like this and then like this it will go like like that right i'm gonna show you again it's really good okay so let's imagine you're here you go like this and like this you would have gotten there but you see you can you can change the direction and it's really good for making space 
uh, close but be careful because you cannot move while uh, doing this one so it, that's the only problem with it okay and last one is the rainbow flick this one is pretty decent because the cooldown is okay it's pretty good because you can like go like this use it and you would have created created a lot of space like from here to maybe here you know it's really good and i tend to use it like i go like this the players start coming in front of me and i go like this and then i move forward maybe i use this and i score it's pretty 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 it's a pretty good combo you know so yeah okay now we have pka okay so pka is probably for people who actually know how to score and they are decent at uh, like aiming you know if you can aim you can play with pka so like let's see I told you how to use PK. Like, if you want the ball to go here, don't aim here. Aim somewhere around like here, you know. And the ball will, will have a decent spin. Okay, I didn't get it now, but you see what I mean. It was really close. That's for the um, the Trivela shot. Okay, now uh, with the normal uh, PK shot, you can use it just like a regular M1, but you can score many more goals because like let's see it it has decent what the fuck man i'm shit now uh it has decent speed and decent power and the goalie sometimes gets it but most of the time he doesn't so use um use the first move to try a, a trick shot something like that or if you like like you're in a sticky situation you go like this fake out fake out again and then shoot with the normal pka shot and the last move is basically this one this is the the pass i don't have a player right now so i cannot pass but what you guys uh, need to know like it all locks to your teammate so if they move the ball with will move itself but when they're really far away the ball doesn't uh all lock like um at the end so let's say if the player is like right there and i pass like here the ball will just go right here like this but if they move like here it, it won't come to them because at the end of the animation with the, the when the ball is already falling off it won't work like that so yeah that's the thing you need to know okay guys so now we have uh, a person who has Varro's weapon i don't have it i couldn't uh, spin it so yeah fuck it what well, it is what it is so yeah let's see the first move drop faint okay this move i guess it's okay for making space is that right 19 second cooldown by the way okay and yeah it's it's really decent for making space so basically you can make space with it and you can use it like this let's see and you can go forward even okay that's actually really good so this is like a nerfed version of maybe explosive acceleration in some case i guess i'm not sure yeah okay let's see the second move this one i know i this i know this one is good lightning dribble look at this it's a pre, pretty pretty decent move like this one can create a lot of space 35 seconds uh cooldown okay the only con let's see is that you can be camped yeah i i wanted to tell you that you can get camped with mark smell so if they use it and you get like right here and you use mark smell you can get the ball from them i've seen people do that so it's uh it's the only con so yeah be careful with that so yeah the last thing the last move is the the shot right villainous shot yeah let's see let's see yeah it's the the animation is really good okay so how can this one be used i i'm guessing like maybe long shots are available with this one is that right either down 
okay down okay or top beams right or corner okay okay that's that's really that's a really good move it's it might whoa it might even be better than the, um, the normal shot from pka i'm not sure about that one but it is cuz okay why of the speed yeah it's really it i can i can guess it's really fast because as you can see it's crazy what's the cooldown on that one let me check okay let's see damn it's crazy 55 seconds okay fair enough it's uh it's a really good shot honestly it's crazy good so yeah that that will be it for barrow's weapon okay so now we have trapping trapping is pretty pretty decent so my friend uh, here says it's the most versatile weapon so because you can defend oh yeah you can defend and you can you can create space you can score with it it's crazy okay so let's see the first move the um, what is it the the jumping one when you get the ball the mid-air trap let's see okay <laughs> Up. Yeah. okay that that's really good because some people even jump like a lot higher and get the ball with um with that one with that move and it has 23 seconds of cooldown so it's pretty decent it's pretty good you can use it for yeah to steal passes oh yeah i've seen that it's really really annoying and may and also to like when someone tries to score they 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 use it like that man it's uh, it's really annoying i'm telling you trapping is pretty versatile it's it really is okay so net, uh, let's go with the second move now his trap shot oh yeah the the one you can use it after the the black hole trap zero reset turn and fake volley okay so let's let's see the second move is in 90 degrees angle okay let's see damn that that's really good i've seen people score with this but i'm not sure how how useful it is i know it's good for passing though i i've seen people pass with it you need to know the advanced mechanics oh okay okay so with a lot of practice people can learn how to use it yes okay okay let's see the third move the third move zero reset turn okay no oh, i i know this one this one is really annoying it's really annoying it's but it's good okay also 17 seconds cd okay what what is it used for like this let's see oh yeah and uh, okay I, I know i know i, I know that one I, i've seen it it's really good like you can create so much space it's crazy man like how that's really literally unstoppable you have iframes and you cannot get the ball stolen from you right yeah okay that's crazy let's let's go with the fourth move creative trap oh I, I i've seen this one of your skill okay let's see it goes in the direction of your skill damn it's oh my god that that's really good people also use it to to steal goals or defend right i've seen that yeah that also that's crazy yeah and uh f the fifth one i guess it's the fake uh, shot right okay let's let's see so okay and what does that do exactly counter do you have like some some boost or something bailing tackles oh yeah but 
people people can get uh, like baited but it's not that common so be careful with with that move guys it's crazy like i've seen people just stay like that and it's pretty pretty crazy okay but damn he's going crazy with this come on okay but that's gonna be it for trapping yo okay guys um that's gonna be it for today's video if you found this helpful make sure to like share subscribe and all of that so yeah if you have any suggestions leave them down in the comments and that's it see you guys in the next video goodbye